I'm Hugh Womack, Instruction and Outreach Librarian at the Z. Smith Reynolds Library. Today we're going to show you how to get your sources out of Zotero and into Microsoft Word or Google Docs. So to begin, we're going to open up Zotero. Zotero needs to be open before we can use it in Microsoft Word. So now that Zotero is up and running, I'll minimize it and I'll open up a blank Word document. In this blank Word document, I'll start typing. And then I'll stop because it's time for a citation. I'll click on the Zotero tab that has now appeared in Word, thanks to our installing Zotero on our computers. And then I'll click on the Add Edit Citation. And I'll select Modern Language Association 8th Edition for this example. So that's MLA 8th Edition. You'll see that it, by default, there are multiple formats installed in Zotero. There are ways to add more citation styles to Zotero, and you can find those uh, instructions online by simply doing a Google search for adding citation styles to Zotero. So again, we'll use Modern Language Association 8th edition since that's commonly used at Wake Forest. And the book we found earlier was called The Hate You Give. MLA always likes a page number in the citation, so I'll come down here where it says page and I'll say that I got my information from page 23. And there's my parenthetical citation with author and page. Now, I'll keep typing. Oh, don't we all wish it were this easy to type a paper? And now pretend it's time for another citation. And this time, I'll look for the journal article that we found that was Urban Reconstruction in Europe. Again, page number, and there's my parenthetical citation there. Now I'll hit the Enter key a couple of times and pretend that I am at the end of my document, and I'll say, add a bibliography. Wow, there's my bibliography cited in the um, MLA 8th edition citation style. Now, this is not a perfect citation um, in the bibliography for the hate you give. For example, first edition is not needed. You only say the edition when it's second edition or later. So there are some errors here. Those are easy to fix, and I'll demonstrate that for you right now. If I go into Zotero, and I find the citation for the hate you give, and I get rid of first edition here, and I just say um, HarperCollins for the publisher. Don't need all that extra information. And then I go back to Word and hit the lovely refresh button. And all of those changes are reflected in my citation. So it's very easy to make changes and correct things. I'll also demonstrate very quickly that this same functionality works inside of Google Docs. So if we open up a blank Google Doc, you can see that in our blank document in Google now, we have a new toolbar called Zotero. And in that Zotero menu, we have the same options for using Zotero in Google Docs that we had in Microsoft Word. So we can add a citation, add a bibliography, make changes to Zotero and use the refresh button. All of these same features work here. I'll also mention that by using the document preferences options, you can change the format of a bibliography very quickly and easily. So if I go to document preferences, I could change this to the old version of MLA, the seventh edition, or I could change it to Chicago or APA. And as you can see, it simply reformats the entire Word document when you do that. Very easy. That's all we're doing in this video. If you're taking Lib 100, we have a video that will help you with some of the assignments in Lib 100. So stay tuned for that video.